Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VHI Gaming and Anime. I'm Hawk. I'm Phoenix. I'm Catch. I'm Crim. And I'm the Shroud. All five of us back together again, and we're playing more Skyrim Roulette. Last time, Genie took an unfortunate, fatal accident trying to get to the Guardian Stones. And he rest in peace. And, oh, and then we made a new one. So now we're playing as Razia the High Elf. Um, who is an archer. Who is it? Ranger. Who is a ranger. Ranger. She is a ranger. So we're, we are implementing a, no, a new uh, rule in this. So we're, it's something that I brought up. It is something that Krim brought it up, and it makes a lot of sense. So we are going to allow smithing to be upgraded and worked on in this series, whereas before it was just alchemy. Um... But with that, the only armor you can use in the campaign that you're playing as is stuff you armor craft. Arm and and, well, armor and weapons. Only things you can use are the ones that you craft yourself. Everything else. But are we also are we also imposing a penalty? Were we? That you can't use uh, picked up armor. Yeah, you can't use you the pick. Have to yeah, pick your armor. you can't use the picked up armor at all. But you can loot armor for two reasons. Either to sell it or put it on a mannequin if you so choose. Or if it's magical Yeah, armor, or if it's magical, you, you can, can use it for the enchantment. Eat it. Yeah. To, to, to get the uh, enchantments and whatnot. Exactly. So with that being said, we're continuing where we left off. In a little bit of a different location, but we only moved slightly since we last left off on the show. So. Because yeah, there's the shack. Oh, is that the... The love shack. Oh, yeah, the, we're doing the Brotherhood. The Dark Brotherhood, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just finished this one in my, uh, real, my real life playthrough. Uh, more than likely a mud crab or a slaughter fish. Catch the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. It's such a lovely summer home. <laughs> it's a nice summer home. The door just screams, come in, we have cookies. It does, really. No, no, have you, have you not heard it? Yeah, it was like... What is the music of life? Cookies? Welcome! <laughs> <laughs> uh, something sees you. I know. I think it may have been a slaughter fish in the water. It could be anything. Because that's yeah, what it, happens it to has, me. It has to be. Because every time I leave that shack, I can never leave, and I find out it's a slaughter fish just trying to get yeah, me. Yeah, that's why I just but walk a little bit. It, it out going, but I can't believe it can't understand the fact that it's a fish and it can't get me. That fish sees you. You can't move anywhere. Hey, snakes increased. Okay. He could be anywhere. Does this and hit. No more swordfish. Alright. Oh, where'd he go, George? So, in case you didn't watch the last one, the goal of this is to get through the Dark Brotherhood. I don't know if we determined or not the, if we're going to keep playing past our goal or if we're going to re-roll after and go from a new st a new character. I think we're going to um, a new character. Yeah, so if, if he dies in this, we have to re-roll a character. If he gets through the Brotherhood, we're going to re-roll and work on a new character as well. So don't fall um, off any cliffs, Phoenix, and you should be good. Yeah, so the next... The next person to take over the reins will be Ketch, which we're all waiting on that one because he's never yes. played Skyrim. Um, I've already had I've already had my chance at the game, and I jumped off a cliff and died by accident, mind you, and it was not a high cliff either. I don't know what he shot at there. Maybe we should have a deer. I gotta stop trying to be play by play because I got Smash League stuck in my head, and I'm so used to doing the play by play. Ooh, is that cool? Probably iron or crundum. Corundium. Too bad we don't have a pickaxe. I say, you usually don't. Well, if you had a dagger or any one handed. Really? I thought it was only pickaxe. No, you're right. I think it can only be a pickaxe, but you don't. You can actually equip the pickaxe as a weapon and hit it as yeah. hit it like a weapon to get the ore out of it. You don't have to actually do the. Yeah, that's my understanding. Okay. But something had to kill it. So, not necessarily. Sometimes you'll see. Not you? No, I don't think. I didn't see him hit it. 
Sometimes you'll see dead animals and nothing around it to, to boast for the kill, so. I remember seeing a, ten, a dead Dahmer just right outside of Full Creek, and I just looked at Full Creek like... Hey, more sneak. There's something around here. Not necessarily. I looked from the last time we was playing, he was fighting a little bit of a, uh, an ice trope. Yeah, but that was... Yeah, that, that was a while back. That's, yeah. That's been a while. And that was also more to... I'm gonna... Wait... I see. I guess I gotta better pay attention to more because I didn't see anything move. What is that? What? Oh, necromancers, I think, or magic users, maybe. Does that don't look like a bear? Death. Warden of the. Oh, that's what they are. No, they're not Thalmer. They're wardens of the wheel. They're monks. Never met them. They're they're a mod. Yeah, I had a I had a. Uh, a mod installed that that creates a monk. Search vampire? Why not? The vampire dust comes in handy for sure. And, and the armor like sells armor. for good, so. Granted, you can't wear it. What? It does sell yeah, for a pretty penny. Yeah, they don't I don't like remember it. the uh, rule we imposed. Oh. With the smithing? Yeah. You're able to make your own stuff. But what if they give it to you in mission? Because the Dark Brotherhood will give you armor as a reward. So well, that's, uh, rewards, that I think, uh, that I think shouldn't count. Yeah, I don't think it should. Okay, I'll reward. agree with that. Yeah, if, if it's a, it's a special armor. armor, so you wouldn't be able to get it normally, so I will, yeah. look, I will say that. Well, I'll make an exception for that one for sure. Any other armor? Any Dark Brotherhood armor, because there is some that you yeah. can get later that is actually better than the initial set. But at that point, is it going to matter? Because once he's done with the bro with the Dark Brotherhood missions, it's controller passing time. Yeah, true. That's a lot of garlic. Water now, that's fungus. Yeah, that's a lot of garlic. Go eat up that. Go eat that up, Krim. <laughs> so, so while he's traveling through the wilderness doing his thing, getting to his objective, let's uh, get into some news from the past week or so, gaming and anime. What do we have in news? Well, I know the new Sword Art game got announced today, right. as of recording this, is uh, March 30th, so the new, Ala, Ala, was it? Alice Asian? Alice Asian game got announced uh, by Bandai Namco. Yes. I haven't seen the trailer, but it's neat to see if there's another game coming out. That's good uh, to know. Another game that has been announced? Borderlands 3. Mm. Borderlands 3, is, that's right. We had a teaser trailer for Borderlands 3. And you best bet when it comes out we're playing it on this show. It's going to happen. Without Dork Boy. Without Dork Boy. Well, even if it's going to be me and Phoenix doing it. That's fine. Because you got to remember where this show what this show's name used to be and where it got its start exactly. and it was in the Borderlands series. Like I said, I've heard about this news about Borderlands 3 coming out. I saying like, look, y'all don't realize this. When I was I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, is Tiny Tina no longer Tiny? No, no. She does not look like a Tiny Tina anymore, I and don't that's know if that exciting. Is tiny Tina or not, but I want to say it is because it hasn't been. Compiled. It has the mannerisms of Tiny it, Tina. It has the mannerisms. Yes. Which is interesting to me because then it means this game. Just looking at the siren, what are what was her name? The one from two, was it just siren? Lilith. No, not Lilith. The blue-haired one from two. You, but you know who I'm talking about? Maya. Maya. Yeah. Maya. Maya was in it. And she had longer hair, and I think the girl that was with her might have been Gage, but I don't know. But either way, the game takes place in the future of the Borderlands series, so it's not directly after 2. I wonder if they're going to have another uh, Tiny Tina uh, DLC. It's in the realm of possibility. I mean, seriously, who wouldn't want another d, &D uh, Led by Tiny Tina. I, I just saw some of that, like, best of Tiny Tina moments, and I saw the one that almost scared me up last time. Yeah, the yeah, that was a... God, that hurt! When she and starts... Here's the other question. Is Mr. Torg in it? And I've got one question for you. Explosions? If Torg's in it, you're gonna get explosions, and I that, think I like a... I think I saw Torg in the trailer. 
if, if we can get the trailer pulled back up, but someone, like, I know other characters had been shown, and I think I saw Jack? No, Jack's dead. He couldn't be Jack. But I think I saw the guy from the Tales from the Borderlands. I did. Okay. And we got to level up from Corey, or uh, Razia. Yeah, from Phoenix here. Yeah, want me to take the headphones off or No, keep them in so I don't actually hear it. We only need to see if Torg's in the trailer. But I know Hammerlock was in the trailer. I know Hammerlock was in it. Lilith was in it, and she looked like she took a big beating. Maybe that's what happened there. And then the two mystery characters that look like they're the villains of the next series, I don't know who they are or what they're doing. One of them kind of looks like Handsome Jack, I'm not going to lie. It looked like it, but I don't... I don't... I don't... I I feel like... Is that... Do I... Would I have to have played Tales from the Borderlands to understand who they are? Uh, I don't think necessarily. From what I saw... Because it does look like... uh, They were in... A comic, I believe. Let's see. Oh, you can adopt people now if you want to. Adopt children, not people. You can't just go up to a random beggar and say, You, you're my child now. What's the best that last time? I didn't see that sign last time, Children of the Vault. Yeah. I missed that. Yeah, that looks a, he looks a little like an evil, more evil, handsome Jack. Which I honestly don't think Jack was evil in the pre sequel. Um, I, mean, I honestly, look, I know. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying that I don't think Jack was evil in the pre sequel. He looked, seemed he like he was more of a good guy, and it was all Moxie that started the whole evil, handsome Jack thing. That's just my, my perspective on it. And I can't necessarily, can't necessarily blame Lilith all that much for what she did, but at the same time, you know, she is kind of a. Uh, Bad person, but then again, when you look at all the vault hunters that you've played with through they're the Borderlands series, they're not necessarily good people. They're not. I think the most good one out of them might be Gage, but just because she lands on Pandora, like right before you can start playing with her, and she was just a a high school student that created Death Trap. And that's really all that was there was to it. I mean, she didn't create Death Trap to kill things. She created Death Trap for a, for a science fair, and it just went berserk. Uh, let's see. And she didn't necessarily make it go berserk, but you know, I like Gage. Kick the chicken. I like the music. Yeah, the music of the trailer is good. Needless to say, whenever it does come out, I'm going to be getting it, and I'm going to have it pre-ordered and paid in full, so we have it. Um, Another game that I've been looking at getting, and I think I mentioned this last time. Might have. I think I was. Vampire, the Masquerade, Bloodlines 2. Yes. yes. I've, I've heard some good things about that one, actually. About the first one, and then some good things about the next one coming out. Yeah, the first one was exceptionally good. I mean, it's kind of bad, you know, that in the overall spectrum of things, it kind of, the people who made it basically lost the rights to, like, it it ended up falling by the wayside. Who ended up picking it up, though? Um, I think right now, currently, it is, um... What in the... I think I know what that is, but I gotta get close to see it. Oh, okay. So, that that is another mod that I have that's basically called the Realm of Warcan. It's an alternate start for the game, so instead of jumping into the the main game, the main way you would... How did you... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I didn't see Tor. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure he still is going to be in there. Explosions? Hey, he's a fan favorite, so there's nothing saying he can't be in the next game. Oh, what if he was a cyborg? Or came back like he's been injured sometimes, but he came back as a cyborg board. Oh, God. With his own explosion arm cannon! That would be fitting. <laughs> yeah. It would. All too fitting. Alright. 
I now come with explosions! Explosions? Mr. Dorm 2.0 with explosions! I will now blow up the ocean! I lost greater than us too! With open with ocean chopping action! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my things were one-handed, archery, light armor, and... Um... Alchemy? Yes. And we're also allowing for smith. Yes. Yeah, one more perk to increase, so... I got some work to do to get those perks up, but... Can't do anything else with that tree. Now that must be your light armor tree. Will make your job a lot easier, but I mean we can't put it on. <laughs> yeah, we got enough on there already. Just when I think we're not gonna run into another mod I have installed, he comes across one. Alright, so if I'm really What's this mod? I'll just swear everyone turns to fire. You were probably going to the uh, Dark Star. Valkyrie, that's right. Dark Star Why does it have you going to White Run? What mission do you have as your, uh... Yeah, you would be going to Falkreath, so you're going to want to go to the stables. So you can... So, you so can, let's go to... Let's go to the stables where they jacked up the price by. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah! I mean, he does have armor he can sell. I know, yes. So. Can he get into White Run? Remember, we had that problem. Oh, God, I don't know. Yeah. You were well, I think, I think I might have to go back to Rifton and do... You mean Riverwood? Yes, Riverwood. Yeah, because it may have you talk to her. Um, I don't know if you can get into... I'm, see, I've never had that problem. I didn't either. I was doing, like, alternate, in, uh, alternate starts, and I could have gotten... I went into one right one just fine. Yeah, me too. And then once I decided to do the Dragon main quest, it continued on normal, so I don't know why. Wait, I saw guards. Ears open, there's guards up by the thing. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, good. Yeah. Maybe he can't. Uh, wait, he's about to talk to him. First way. Welcome to White Run, Catch. Finally. That's, no, yeah, he has. No, Catch no, hasn't been there. Catch hasn't been there. That's yeah, what I mean. Catch hasn't played this game before. That's so why I said Catch. Yeah. Feast your mean? eyes on your first settlement. Will you meet all Six sorts City. of colorful pitch, uh, people who ask you if you went to the Cloud District or not? Or, you know, that always. It's Silverstein can eat it. I know. I, didn't, I never realized he played so many things in this game. And he's such a he does such a good job at being an asshole. Yeah. It's not even that one. It's like whenever you're going, well, you'll find out later. The Emperor's body double. Oh, he yeah. plays the Emperor's body double and does a good job at making that an asshole. He, I don't think the body double. Is. No, he was. The body double is. Good thing I messed up his soup then. Or not only poison, but I added a giant toe. <laughs>
So you can also spend hours chopping wood to make five gold per piece. I think it's five. I don't know how many you actually get for it. Might be 20. First so, thing to do when he walks into White Run. <laughs> yeah. Pick every flower. Hey, I grew those! I'm picking those. And you did a wonderful job, but they're mine now. Now we return to flower picking with Razia. White Run edition. <laughs> People love the stone. And no, not the cold one. Yeah, flower. <laughs> ah, what a wonderful town trick, Cotton. Good picking, Razia. Wonderful. Wonderful job you are doing. More cotton. And I have some neck cotton. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the... Oh, the Drunken Hudson. Yes, the archery shop with a wonderful name. Where you can beat up a woman and have her as a bodyguard. No, uh, that's in the Bannered Mare. Bannered Mare? Yes. That is the Bannered Mare. This one is just someone you pay. Oh. She's a mercenary. For 500 gold. Can I believe, isn't she an archer? I think she's the one I can pick up, right? I believe so. I, did we? No, it was. Did we even roll I, for I that? Had, I had to pick the archer. Yeah, that's right. It was single. Uh, yep. And she's also a marriage option too, I think. Yep, she is. I married her. But let's think about this. It's not gonna matter. Our our character's female. It'll work. Okay. It's yeah. not Fallout. We don't get to choose. It's not like you fall out, you can't choose what you, well, you can't choose what you want. But you, you now, can. Here's the question. Since we are, in fact, doing the you can't pick stuff up and use it, what about buy? I say buy it's fair game. You're spending your own gold. Yeah. I thought I'd throw that out there because, you know, I do see some enchanted bows. Like I said, you're spending your gold on this. And yeah, I, I feel like, like if oh, you've got... He's it. jacked up the price on this, so I think it's more than fair. Well, no, the pricing is, is okay. The pricing hasn't changed for the items. Oh. It's only for when you... What about the pickaxe? You should totally get a pickaxe. He's not exactly not wrong. Well, you can yeah, you can use it, though, still. Like... We just because you don't have smithing as your archer or your ranger, you can still level up your smithing to forge your own weapons and armor. So having the ore to turn into an ingot, yeah. Okay. Or even if you <laughs> so you, I even can't with wear the mining part, so I can't wear you can get right. right. You can't wear the vampire armor, but you can wear the imperial leather. I just thought of a little or. Or studded <laughs> because they're the first thing you picked up. I just thought of a loophole. What if he sells his armor and then buys it back? Then can you wear it? No. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> you cannot I'm wear bought sold. Because he's not buying it for the same price. He's at, if it be. has, if you have acquired it in your possession by way of dead body, regardless of how you obtain it, if you <laughs> want to waste your own gold to, to get it back in your inventory, you can. But you're not going to wear it. You have to have acquired it first by buying it or making it. And that's it. And if you want to try and steal that stuff, you know, I'm not saying you can. Or can't. Do whatever you want. You're a grown man. Okay. Uh, I got some news. Okay. Video games. And this actually came out saying, Sona 5 ranked number one most memorable PlayStation 4 game among 50 Japanese developers. I saw the that. Fifth anniversary at the stack list. I saw that. I and saw that too. I am happy to see that. I love it too. I, Persona 5 is a great game. It is. Persona so great. Persona 5 is the first Persona game I've played. Me too. Yep, same and it'll make me buy six. You know, I was watching some of the about another 20 years. And I do yeah. have three and four for the 
PlayStation 2, the original PlayStation Nice. So I, I went and saw some gameplay of like the first Persona game, like for the PS1. Oh my god. I, I thought I thought it was gonna be like way behind, but it's actually like pretty close to what it is today. Like map wise, like when you was in the school when you look at your map of mini map it kinda looks the same as you would see the mini map in your game. Right. But what's interesting about it, because that game was like got double disc with three discs, yeah, it was a real big set. Yeah, it was like it was like, yeah, the, it was like Legends of Dragoon. You had five freaking tits. So you had a lot of details put into that game. And what was interesting about the first like Persona game is like it happened like something like a, a time at night now, where the creatures came out. And wow. Where you went to go fight the creatures and all that. And it also had a persuasion. See, for a while, they took that out, brought that back in the fifth game. Like yeah, but in, it was in the first one? It was in the first one. They had this motion and all that. But they took it out in three and four. They didn't have where you can, like, persuade the, uh, the personas to, hey, join you and all that. Right, and they put it back in in, in five. It's a wonderful oh, game. I can't wait to see more about Persona 5 Royal, or R, the Royal. Yes. We got the good teaser, and that's what it was, a good teaser. I don't think I haven't watched the teaser yet. Well, I've got... Okay, so a few months ago, and I might have talked about it last show. I can't remember if I did or not. But last... A a couple of months ago, there was a data mine. I'm using air quotes on this one. Because I don't know how true it is or what. But apparently multiple people have talked about it. Have said stuff about it so it wasn't just one person. But they data mined one of the updates for Smash Bros. Ultimate and found that Joker or the character that they or their sure Joker's codename Jack has alternate skins with ponytail physics but Joker's female alternate in dancing in the dancing game dancing in Starlight or Moonlight Starlight either way in the dancing game his female alternate that you can buy doesn't have a ponytail so people are thinking that this new character in the royal is he, he is in like fact is going to be one of his alternate skins. So you're going to be getting two for one, but that also is going to back up the she's the main character of the royal because why would they put pick just a random new party member for the alternate skin? Well, it's just like the name of Persona Two. Persona Two, or Persona I think it was three. The one on the PSP. On three and all, there's two versions. Okay, there's guys, which one? Oh. Well, too late. <laughs> yeah. Probably not a little dice. But, you know, they did say, you know, they had like the metal character that came out for the one version of, of Persona 3, and they had a female version right. of the character. Now, were they the same character, or was it just a... It was totally different. It actually combined a lot how they did with the game and all that. Okay. Different things that took place with both games. And uh, the second... Persona 2 is acting like that too. There's two versions mm-hmm. of that. So I'm glad to see that's if they're going to do something that route, it's bringing back back to the same groups. Right. The game. That seems a lot like what they're what they've been doing with five. Like a lot of tie-in, well, a lot of I wouldn't say tie-ins, but there is a lot of um, DLC throwbacks to all the old games. Oh, yeah. There are some older references in five from the older games with some of the characters, some of the personas, and some of the things you see about in the in the world itself. Yes. But what's interesting to me is in the teaser, the male voice at the beginning. People are saying that's a catchy. I wouldn't uh, have to see this to, uh, to tell. But the trailer is not dubbed; right. it's only in Japanese, and there were no subtitles on it when it came out. So there is no confirmation that the first voice is a catchy, other than what people who have watched the the sub or no of a catchy's voice are saying. Okay. Well, first off, let me ask. Why are we doing the main story plus? I don't know. Because I need that uh, alchemy table. <laughs> you can use the alchemy table without his permission. Yeah, but when you first walk in there, you're drug into that. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing what we're doing. But the truth is, where does Royal going to take place? Is it going to take place like during the middle of Persona Five, or is it? That's the question. Because if it is a catchy, if it's a catchy, that means 
Well, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be in the middle. That just raises a big question as to what the hell happened in Shido's palace. Yes. My guess of answer is because there's a lot of things that... You don't that know. Leave. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they left They left a catchy story wide the hell open. So... Oh, yeah. So as much as I hate Akechi, we, awesome. we don't have yeah. any kind of answers and we still need to figure that bit out. Nope, you can go die in the fire. And I hope to God they don't they don't make him redeemable in this game. And another thing that they came out today on Persona's uh, new site now. Well, to me it's awesome. Some people not so much. But they actually finally make the <coughs> Kodo Nijima figurine. Oh, I saw that. And the, the news was best waifu kidding her <laughs> That's what it said. Yes. It said best waifu no, kidding her Don't say a thing, please. <laughs> Behave yourself, Hawk. Yes. Behave yes. yourself. Yes. Continue. No. <laughs> Not my waifu. Leave my waifu alone. Wish girl. What? I didn't hear you. Wish girl. No, no she's not According the girl. This, it's best girl. Well, it must have been Kotaku. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, Look, the the only version of Queen <laughs> that I accept is the Usatame version. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm going to clarify this again. When I say that Makoto's worst girl, I don't mean she's trash. I want to make that very clear because she's a wonderful character. And I will admit that. But out of the list of girls in the game, Makoto's at the bottom. Uh, but we all know that uh, uh, Akechi uh, uh, is best girl. <laughs> Akechi is worst girl. <laughs> I would say, no, Akechi is worst girl. I mean... I like the romance with Panther more than the rest of them, honestly. Yeah. 100%. But just because, and mainly because I love rubbing it in Morgana's face. Like, ha, ha, ha. All, all those times that Morgana's like, go to sleep. Like, oh, I'll go to sleep on your lady. But yeah, so if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna rank them, and this is going strictly off the party members, too. I'm not. Okay, I'm we're, not including. We're not including Doctor Legs, Becky with good hair. Um, is that Doctor Legs is best. Card. Doctor Legs, Be yeah, Becky with the good the hair. Uh, yeah, Hifumi. Yeah, we're not. None of those, because though they deserve. Th there's another list with those, but just Chibiro going. Or whatever her name is, the fortune teller. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever her name the is. Reporter. Re the reporter. Well, we already spoke for her. The, the yeah. alcoholic. The yeah. Alcoholic. Oh, alcoholic. Yeah, she. So, if I was gonna rank the party members, is on Futaba, Haru, and then Queen. Makoto. Makoto. Come on. Well, and it's like I said, I have nothing against her as a character. She's a great character. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, we forgot one. We forgot one. Well, that would mean Akechi's valuable. Akechi has no value. That's why he's at the absolute bottom. This is true. Worst girl is Akechi. Worst actual girl is uh. Let's let's is, change is the Makoto. subject. Yeah. This is, well, you know, you know darn well. If there was a chick with blue hair in Persona, Queen would not be your favorite. You cannot confirm nor deny this. <laughs> your silence speaks louder than any other Persona answer you could. Persona 5 Dancing Gay changed that, okay? Yeah, because yeah, you could buy the wigs. <laughs> I, I want to change the question. You're almost perfect. Blue hair in my game. You're almost perfect, Makoto. Take this blue wig. <laughs> Why? I, Don't ask questions. Just do it or it gets the hose again. <laughs> I have a my, two, my girls that I have, I like, yes, I like Makoto. I do love Ami, because she was my first choice. She was my very first love choice, playing Persona 5. And after meeting Erica, she is so wonderful. Absolutely a 
I love the video that she does with her dog, Dance With Me Carmen, and her dog runs in. Yes. I love that. It's so great. She is an awesome person to talk to. So, my first mistake I ever made in Persona 5 was accidentally... You go finish your story, I'll go into mine. But there's one other person who I absolutely love that you have no way to get a love interest into the game, and it is Sai. I agree. That would have been an interesting romance that they could have been done. Especially when you see that, that beginning the opening where you see, like, she comes in and like, oh, it's you. And you're like, hello. <laughs> Hi. No, I think it, I think in that case, to romance side, you would have to do it after her pals. Yeah. It, You'd have to do it after her pals and that would put it into the point of before you're sent to jet or sent to Judy. And I think that's fair. Yeah, because I mean, you, know, you don't see her enough during the during the recap to actually interact with her enough to get a relationship up. Exactly. But still, but, it's interesting. It's like, if, the, if you didn't like romance any of the girls until you get to the end with Psy and all, and you have that option to do Psy as a romance option, will you do it? Yes! Yeah. yeah. But my first mistake I made in Persona... I was going for Becky with the good hair. I accidentally ended up with Becky with the good hair and on. Oh no! Valentine's Day was a bad day for you? Which one did you decide to skip on? With Becky with the good hair. Oh. I skipped on her, but thankfully Sho Soja Bro saved my skin that day. Covered for me. And then gave me the little petty candy. Here's the thing: if you have Haru as the one that you don't go to, she'll threaten you. She says, "You do not make fun of a girl who uses an axe." That's what she yeah. said. Yeah. I like the change. I, I've seen it when they've done the player route, where you romance every all, every all the females, and it is not pretty. What are you talking about? That's the best decision. Nothing wrong happens. <laughs> Especially in Valentine's Day. No, no Valentine's Day goes horribly wrong. This, this is the great <laughs> thing. Ever after. This is the great thing about Persona. It's to show you people. It's like the hair right don't always work. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you can have your hair, but you can also pay for it too. Oh okay. yeah, <laughs> and you pay for it, all right, <laughs> dearly. I want to change the question from okay, instead of who's best or worst wife. Who's the worst character? And I think I already know a hog's answer. No, you don't. I don't. You do not know. I, as much as I hate Akechi, Akechi there is, is someone worse than and him. I was thinking, mine's the gym teacher. He is bad, but he's, he's number... Bad. He's... Well, you know, is, is if we're going off of... There, if if but... they're going off of their actions as to what makes them the character we hate the most, it's definitely Kamashita for me. But if we're going just in all the character we hate the most for any reason, it is not Kamashita. Who is it? I, I gotta, Fall Creek is where I want to go, right? Yes. That is Kirk. I gotta find the, the name, because I forgot his... It's not Shido, I assume. No, it's not Shido. He's got his palace. He does not have a palace. He doesn't have a palace, okay. You'll know exactly who I'm talking about as soon as is I... It, is it one of your uh, allies? Yes. No! Yes. No, it's not one of your party members. Oh. Not not party members, but I'm talking like part of the Arcana. Yes, he is an Arcana. Uh, talking about whiny kid? Mishima? Oh, the little kid? Shinya. Shinya Oda. Yeah, I should have thought of that. Shinya. Ah, yes. Get, sm wow. get smoked. I hate him. And I think it was because I hate him with the passion. Yes! Yeah. Persona 5 is such a wonderful masterpiece of a game. All of the voices are done phenomenally. Like, every voice actor was at the top Don't of do their... It. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! Do do it. it. Every... <laughs> every character in Persona 5 was voiced phenomenally. All the voice actors are at the top of their game, except for Shinya. That's my boy. <laughs> it sounded like if I closed my eyes and pictured it was from the very early Gundam anime, Ooh. I couldn't tell I was listening to Persona 5. I thought you were going to say Robotech. 
that too. It doesn't matter. Like it sounds like early era anime, like so horribly voice acted. And it's just like, why? This is a game in 20, what was it, 17 when it came out? 17 is when it came out over here. Cause yeah. Cause I remember that because it was doing the uh, MTAC Haku Con. Mm-hmm. And it was, uh, that's what it had. Keith was there. And yeah. And Cassandra. So yeah. So, yeah, it was. It came out in 2017. There is no reason it should have been a horrible voice acted character. And on top of the fact, he was this whiny, like, get smoked, not whiny, but this whole get smoked kid. And he was. I just. I hated him. Why like, do I feel like it's a reference to get lit? <laughs> it probably fucking is. <laughs> I just. I hate Shinya. Like, at, at the, it, it goes Shinya, Kamoshida, Akechi. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> that the game forces me to become a confidant with if I want to get through one of the metaverse oh, missions. Are we here? Yeah. Here we go. Welcome. See that door catch? It just screams cookies and milk. <laughs> what cookies and milk are you talking about? <laughs> the options you have. Silence, Silence my brother. My brother. Um, the loot? No, the drums. Or screaming? Or some kind of choir with chanting. <laughs> Silence. Silence. Home. And now, meet your family. Your wonderful, dysfunctional family. <laughs> Should we just you tell even have an uncle named is? Festus. What? You really do. Yes. No lying, you have an uncle Festus. Yes. Oh my gosh. Alright, so it's like so the Astrid. Yeah, that leader up there, as you saw, that's Astrid. You're about to meet her husband. And Your hu- her husband, who also oh, doubles. No, no, no. Her husband that doubles over as a pet dog. Um, huh? You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. Listen to their. Yeah, battles. you have to listen to their conversations, though. Okay, everybody, we're going to be listening to what these people are going to be The Night about. Mother's. Oh, you can take it. It's not a steal. Yeah. That's her living room. Her court, not oh, her don't court. Don't forget that little jewel there. Oh, oh. yeah. How, how many are there? 21? 24. 24, that's right. No, 24, I think. 24. You'll find out his hatred later. If we make it that far. I was going to do that first. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's this one. <laughs> Oh, he's not gonna meet Cicero until later. He has a couple of missions before Cicero comes. I think it's the next time around. Either the next big mission, I think. Let's turn up the volume because they're about to hear stories. Yeah, the stories are wonderful to listen to. And now the fun part, after he puts the armor on. Of course he's putting on the armor. Apparel. Here we go. Love this armor. Is this the one with mask or without mask? With. With the mask. There's one without the mask somewhere else. I like the with mask. All is as it should be. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go.
Yep. You fought the Khajiit Yamcha. So yeah, we have a lizard man assassin, a vampire kid, a werewolf, a mur of old man who did master an alchemy. Yeah, this is your family. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that's not the one I thought it was. Oh, word. We get it, you're married. The thing about most of the stuff you find in here is you can use it for poisons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now, there's so much of it. And there's exactly. Down the hall. <laughs> so. so no, so you Christmas like playing in the, the dark weather. Well, it depends. Because a different way you go, you get to destroy the dark brother. Permanently. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't no coming back from that. <laughs> yeah. So do we want to do the quick route and end it, or do you want to follow it? That is the that is the question, because it says your first faction to deal with is Brotherhood. It doesn't say you have to join them. You just got to do it. I would think it would the Imperial Army option. I would think but that would be no, story. no, because I've done the Imperial Army, and not once through the Imperial Army storyline does it ever mention the Brotherhood. I know it doesn't mention it, but it is the Imperial Army that tries to take them down. It is, but you have to start the Brotherhood missions to do that. Sure. But then again, I think you would have to kill Astrid in the shack before we got to yeah, this point. Yeah, I think that you or, have that would, that would, Or Cicero out in the place. I think that gets you there, too. He might be gone at this point. So I think after you start the Brotherhood, he goes away. Just, you know, be careful when you try all these ingredients and don't try all the ingredients at once to unlock their power. You'll Been come there, out... Done that. It hurt. <laughs> yep. But I didn't die. <laughs> That's the important part. I like when you do that and you come out of the menu and you scream like all bloody hell because you're about to die because of it. Like a whole mix of different different effects. Damage health, damage magicka, magicka regen, fortify light armor. I love Gabriella. <laughs> oh, if they could see the look on Kitch's face. <laughs> I love the fact that we have one person here who has not done Skyrim, which I thought I know. was possible. 
I think we've quickly learned he hates Abjorn because Abjorn hates the color blue, but he loves Gabriella because she stabbed a unicorn in the throat with a crochet needle. By the way, you have a pet spider. Oh yeah, you can buy stuff from her too. Oh yeah, I need to train. Oh, oh, the spider's coming out of the pit. Oh yeah, the spider. He comes up. He doesn't come up onto the area, but it'll come up the steps. Uh, I've never seen it go up the steps before. Though it would be pretty neat if that spider could roam freely around the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Although that would be weird. You're just sleeping and that spider just comes up to you like a cat. Like you wake up and the spider's just curled up on you. Do you pet it or push it? Yeah. This is one thing Ford could not do. Nope. What are you talking about? Ford loves spider. Bird fist is good. I think this is the other way to go up those stairs. No, no, no. Yeah, Festus might be up the stairs. I think that's where he usually is, either reading or doing his alchemy thing, because he works on potions. Poisons, should I say. Poisons and magic that turn people inside out. The just, they eat well. like a nice table. just think, when I start my D&D campaign, you might run into this. Please, please do. Please let me be kidnapped. The question is what most people want to go for. Well, kidnapped. Yeah, kidnapped wonderful. Sorry. Perform the black sacrament when they come to to find out the contract. Take me. Huh? I want that Take to me happen. with you. Please, in your D&D campaign, when you like check perception check, like we're sleeping. Oh, well, it's uh, one, one of those moments that she's like here. You're like, so roll you a D20. Up there I rolled a D20. You hear someone coming to you and trying to take you. I wake up. Are you the Dark Brotherhood? What? Yes. One sec. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted. Oh. Should I? It's up to you. Don't you. see why not. It's your character. Yeah, the Argonian. He's usually always sitting out there by the yeah, word wall. I like how every one of them is kind of do like the whole kill well and often thing, all kind of quiet and sincere. Festus is like, kill well and often. So I think there's a book right here that actually talks about how you do the Black Sacrament. Uh, that's the one you picked up in, uh, the Aretinos. Yeah. When you get the very first mission. So yeah, to perform the Black Sacrament catch, <clears throat> you have to have, as what Ventus did, you have to have bones from a, from a human remain, their flesh, and heart. Yes. How, all have to be from a human, and you have... Nightshade? Yeah. Nightshade, and you have to repeatedly tap the ground with a dagger. No, you have to stab... I can't remember if it's flesh or the heart. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Because well, Ventus wasn't stabbing either one of them. But that could. No, he was just stabbing the ground. Yeah. Yeah, he was just stabbing the ground. The heart and the flesh were off to the side. But either way, in the book it talks about it. But yeah, you have to do like a specific thing to summon, or not to even summon, but a certain thing to catch the attention of the Night Mother, who then sends, the, who tells the listener, who then sends someone to you, to them. But there's a problem with that in this brotherhood. There is no listener. That's why they never got the contract that you got. If they did, they would have, because the listener's kind of like, the listener would have caught it before you even heard about it, but since there's no listener, well... But you see, that's the biggest part. There's no listener to tell the family that there is a contract up. Yeah. But the way they do it here for the contracts is that they hear word of someone who is doing the black sacrament. And if in fact it's found out true that they are, then they go for it. Or you could have special request if you're Maven Blackbriar. Yeah. Which well, I never understood, but hey. It's not even black, bro. Yeah, it's a That's one little pet peeve I have. I, I played the Dark Brotherhood, and then right after I went to the Thieves Guild, as the leader of the Brotherhood, and they said, basically, don't cross Maven, or she'll get if she wants you dead, she'll have the Brotherhood kill you. They never reference the fact that you're the leader of the Brotherhood, and she never mentions it whenever you talk to her in the Thieves Guild questline, even though you're the listener of the Dark Brotherhood. They probably don't know yet, to be fair. They're not word, the tr- word travels very fast. They yeah. ha- well, by- here's the thing. You're... Don't want to spoil it. Well, you are. Is. Probably should, but I'll let you do that because I'm not entirely sure on the details. Shadow scale, like Vizier said, there are assassins that serve under the Argonian King. But they are special in one regard. They are Argonian children that were born under the sign of the Shadow. Argonian children born under the sign of the shadow are sent to train with the block, with the Dark Brotherhood. What was that? I need to explain that. Those were part of the you know the warriors of the wheel you saw? Oh that's no. those are those are the monk armor. Oh uh, sorry, that was just so confusing to see. No. 
but do, do continue. But yes, uh, that's basically what they are. And yeah. actually, a pair show up. Was it Oblivion? Yes. I can't remember. In, in the Oblivion Dark Brotherhood storyline, the two uh, the two Argonians there uh, were Shadow Skill. Were both Shadow Skill. Uh, Octavia. And I can't remember the other guy's name. But they are like brother and sister or something, and they were both born under the sign of the shadow. Right. Thus, shadow scales and sent to the Dark Brotherhood to be trained as assassins. Yeah. You know, when I first played this so, uh, Brotherhood in Skyrim, I guess that will finish up my run. When I first played the Dark Brotherhood in, the, in Skyrim, I should have noticed there was something off of this Dark Brotherhood. When I was playing Oblivion, they were very efficient. They, in this one, they kidnapped you and threw you in the shack. In Oblivion, you walk up to your bed. This guy was invisible the entire time. Comes up, is like, sure. And I'm like, okay, sure. And then walks out. He didn't need to take you to a secret place. You had, you could be in that inn. And he was like, yes, you need some help. Uh, we have an assassin organization. This way, you say anything, we kill you. That was efficient. I loved Lu I loved Lucy and the Chance, dude. Yeah. He was he was great. He actually makes an appearance here. He does. Further on in this story, or further on in the Dark Brotherhood missions, you get him as a as a spell. Yep. Always a permanent spell. By the way, uh, there's a Skyrim special in Steam going on. I saw that. And I'm thinking of getting Oblivion. <laughs> Not I wouldn't games. blame you, honestly. I, I admit, that was my first Elder Scrolls game. It's yeah. Kind of like, it has a... It has a... It has a video Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about it is the Relentless Guards. That's what I love about it. I love it and hate it. Just because of the nightmare fuel it gave me. Alright. So... So begins the Dark Brotherhood career of Aranzia. Yep. Ketch's turn. <laughs> oh, you're gonna pass off to Ketch now? Yeah, I mean, I'm, this is the uh, the point. Unless you want me to keep going. I, I will leave it up to you if you want to pass on to Ketch, because I do kind of want to see Ketch play the game. Right. Same here. Same. Uh oh, I'll suck. Sorry, Ketch, you don't get a same. Might have to switch. I'm about to do this. We're all the dice. Okay. <laughs> here, here, here's what I'll say. Eyes of Oaks. We pass off the catch. We do not delete the safe. Right. If we want to pick up Razia again later. I'm okay with this. We can. If we want to continue with catch, we can. I am. I'm okay with this. Again, the same rules apply. But I say we need to pass fair judgment. I agree. I really want to see Catch play this. I think we all do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be breaking the game for crying out loud. <laughs> well, you have sorry. Fun, it's, it's, it's gone. You, you have fun trying to break the game. Uh, the game will break if, you. Game I will say, if we do pass off to Catch, just because we just did the Brotherhood, we have to re-roll if he rolls the Brotherhood, because it would be kind of boring and pointless to have him go back through. Absolutely. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I say, if Brotherhood comes up as the faction, mm -hmm. we re-roll. Actually, let's make it a little more interesting since he's never played. Let's not roll. Let's have him decide okay. which ones he wants to do. He has no idea of this game. So, like, let him choose the faction. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll list, we'll list off the factions to you, and you choose which one you go to, only having the idea of one of them. One faction. But here's the catch. You have to complete the story. Not not, not tonight. What? Not tonight. Not in this sitting. But by the end of it, you're going to have to complete the storyline. And it's the same deal. If we want to pick back up with Razio to finish the Dark Brotherhood, we'll go for it. If we want to pick up with you and watch you go through it, we'll do that. We'll let him pick faction, but everything else is randomized as sounds, per usual. Sounds yeah. good to me. You, draw, you roll the race. You roll the class, and I'll roll the follower. And it's what, a D6? D10. D10? Yes. Alright. We don't want to lose this oh, great right. character. This is a this is a not kidding, a great character right here. 
You're liking the Dark Brotherhood? It's not like that. It's a high elf ranger. You have a lot of great things to do with this character. What was it, a D10 again? Yes, so I'm going to go save. So here's, so here's gonna, here's what's <clears throat> gonna happen in this one. So since I didn't delete the mod or disable the mod for it, you're gonna go to the realm of Lorcan, which is gonna be okay because you can still create everything like normal, and you're not gonna have to go through the cave. But this opens up a better range of uh, of whatever for you. You can actually choose RPG classes if you want, or you can just go straight in, which is what we're gonna make you do actually. So, all right. Okay. All right. Let's get the character creation ready. Uh, what was it? First got, one. Who got race and who got class? Again? I got Krim, race. Krim gets the race. You roll the class. Okay. And I'm rolling for it. I'll wait until he gets it up. You get. You choose the race first. Whenever he gets it up. Oh, okay. You roll. We have a nine, which is Dunmer. Oh. oh. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're a dark elf. Again. Oh, I'll set up. I'll do the. By roll wizard for you were a high elf. Oh, He's a high elf. I, I tried to make her a dark elf. So. You better hope I roll for a wizard because that would match dark elf wonderfully. Male or female? Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Alright. Head's male, tails female. Oh, okay. Tails female. 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 Do you want to attempt the look, or are you good? Because you're not really going to be looking at yourself a whole lot. It doesn't matter. You know me. I like creating characters. Alright. Good luck looking through the mask. You can't take the couple masks. No. This is the only bad thing about this mod, is it has the iron helmet on all the time. That was me scooting yeah. against the leather. Yeah, I was... Okay, <laughs> I was <laughs> wondering. <laughs> I was going to tell Hawk it wasn't the storm. I knew it wasn't the storm. I just wasn't sure if it was him scooting against the leather or him tooting. So I can't take off the... That sucks. It says I put the hairs on the Kajik, you... I mean, kind of. <laughs> Kajik. That's... Why can we not take off the... I don't know. I do not know. I thought that the, uh, the quick start that we had... This us. is a different one. Oh, this is a different one. Yeah. That's long hair. That's basic long hair. Oh, okay. uh, that's long hair with braid. That's pulled back long hair. Uh, more weird pulled back long hair. Um, that's kind of long to shorter hair. That. With that one or that one? Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't the Dumbwars Homeland or something? Destroyed by a volcano or something. Morrowind. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Morrowind. Yeah, that's right. right. So what volcanoes color hair? are kind of like your... I don't know. What am I saying? Why am I asking Go you blue. what color hair you want? I know what color hair you're going to want. Oh, blue. Huh? That other blue right there. That one? That one? There are... Purple. I don't think there was a blue. There's white. Cats in play mode. Miku blue. Uh, no. Cool. Not a name. <laughs> Death rope? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no intentionally killing this thing. Noobs McGee. <laughs> Noobs McGee. Noobs <laughs> McGee. No. For some reason, I thought he said Noobs McGee. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> McCoy. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, Catch. Oh, <laughs> I like it. it. Every kills someone, he's gonna get those uh, assassin notes. Kill Noobs McGee. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, oh, dear noobs right. McGee, it saddens <laughs> us to inform you. Alright. We could. 
up. That's oh, all. Yeah. Yeah. So over here, you kind of have your like your class thing, so you can get early like your first equipment that you want to use, unless you feel like sticking with that. Yeah. It went underneath the pizza box. It did. Should we reroll? Yes. What? Absolutely. All right. Let's make more room. There we go. Three. You are barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Two-handed or dual wielding light armor and archery. Can't use magic or heavy armor. Have Alchemy fun. Focus. Have fun. Oh yeah, you can choose your faction. Alright, let's give them that. So, I'm not going to do this because it'll give you weird right, boosts and so stuff. So that's your faction choice, except for Dark Brotherhood. Oh my gosh. We're not going to give you details. The Companions, the Mage College, Thieves Guild, Dawn Guard, Vampire, Blades, the Imperial Army, Stormcloak, or the Arts College. I want to learn the Thieves Guild, but I can't do that because I'm on the road. That don't mean a thing. No, it doesn't mean a thing. You can still do it. Uh, my only one thief. that I wouldn't recommend going with would be Mage College. <laughs> you can't exactly <laughs> use magic. Oh, very mage, yeah. Look, he can use conjuration summon two handed sword. No, he can't <laughs> use magic. That is true. Boy, did he, he say two handed weapons? Mask right off the bat, yeah. sir. He can. Uh, like he should. But he can. <laughs> That means we're gonna have to go through the main story. What? Yeah. Is, I, that, is that what you went with? The blades? blades? Is that the one? Put the coin. No, ah, no, 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 no. You get to choose. Yeah, you're, you're choosing. That's what I'm doing. Uh, will will it help you? I'm gonna give them a little incentive. Blades have katanas. Add that. Add that to the <laughs> <two> spot. <laughs> that was it. That was all it took. <laughs> Blades it is. <laughs> and yes, one hand that you can do dual wield with katanas or a two hand katana. Why is he doing this to me? <laughs> because he wants you to do the blades. Girl, you have to play through the vast majority of the storyline to even get to him. So on this new series, Hitch plays Skyrim. <laughs> While Morgana <laughs> freaks the hell out. <laughs> So, catch, what's it gonna be? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Die katana. Alright, so catch is going to be fighting dragons with katanas, everybody. Let's go forward. So, you, your basic outfitting. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not always. Oh no, that's what the blade's jobs is. You hunt down dragons. Oh crap. How did you not tell me that? <laughs> So you're going to start the same way he started. You have access to all this stuff. I'm going to give you the great sword, but you're not going to have any iron armor. So drop, 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 drop. <laughs> We're not giving him any mercy. Okay, you got to have it now. Well, well, please pick up the gold for him. I don't think <laughs> all right, you can have 38 plus... He can't have those spells. 21 <laughs> out on top of your yeah, one... Yeah, what is that note? It's a welcome note. It's just oh. tough. No. Give the pickaxe. <laughs> so the plane of lore can. It basically explains the mod and how it all works and blah blah blah. Oh, he can use archery, so he can use the bow. Yeah. Where was the bow? According to Barbarian, it is a, it is a thing. Yeah. Don't always have to go for a close range fight. Two-handed awesome. or dual wielding, light armor and archery. Just no. Can't or heavy use magic. All right, well, you have your armor. I'm surprised you can't use heavy armor. I would think a barbarian could use some, but... Uh, really? Barbarians are using them up. Yeah, true. Usually, barbarians so usually, usually wear a loincloth and run at <laughs> So you don't need the tunic. You just need nothing. We'll, we'll just... <laughs> 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 some mercy. All right. I, so I you've got... 
you've Order got your dragon dual. Hunters. I'm gonna show them something. You have. Is, I like to my character a lot of times. So you have your bow. You have weapons that you can make your dual wielding, or you can go the two handed. So. Oh, this is fun. And Thank you've got. You have an ancient so whenever you get to Soul Slime, if God willing, you get there, you can actually I'm mine stall him. So, question is, where do we start him? Because we can start him. But yeah, the first one I get to is where you're going, and I can't remember where this is. Valkyrie, Burnt Cavern, Caravan, Burnt Caravan, and Valkyrie. You are the one to hit X. So, I read something interesting. Our friend, uh... Havoc? Um, apparently it's snowing there. Yeah. In Michigan. That's one thing I loved about Oblivion, too. Also known as drugs. <laughs> it was wonderful. Like, you had to use Skuma in one of your missions for Shia Gorath, and then it turned out like you were getting addicted to the thing. <laughs> oh, my. Really? He said, I can't believe you went with blades. <laughs> Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> Have me a katana, then you fool me. <laughs> I didn't fool you. I, did I lie about the katanas? No, he didn't. Did he I did not lie? fool you. He just said that they have katanas. He he never said any lies. He just never told you the whole truth. I just didn't tell you about the dragon hunting oh, part. Great. <laughs> that was a that was a former blade member. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I would take the horse side. Of course, I'd take the horse side. You horrible person. Because we are allowing for... Oh, yeah, forging is allowed. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Take this one and not see anything with us. It's just even make it out of the tutorial. Break Jimmy's record. No, it'll be way broke. Don't click on that. I'm just touching that. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. That takes you back to the safe zone. You don't want to be there in the safe zone. Oh, you took a note. The expedition has been a terrible failure. You know, sh <laughs> I was definitely mistaken for. Mistaken. Why me? So it's gotta be one of those playthroughs, is it? Uh, 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 snakes. Why does it always have to be snakes? Exactly. <laughs> My character's gonna be like any other jokes. Here we go, buddy. All right. Hey, there was someone sitting in the cart up there. There was? It looked like it. Unless I'm mistaken, is that looked like a oh, oh, it was yeah. a sack. Oh. I just realized if he has to officially join the blade, he's gonna have to do that mission where the green beards hate him. You know what? You, you oh. know what? He, he doesn't officially join them you until have, he does that. So you have to do. A, a is someone running for you? Yep, let's go. <laughs> That's a drugger. Hey, look, but, he's got a katana. Get oh, him. Oh, <laughs> oh, get the katana. Get oh, the katana. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to fight here, guys. Seriously. Square. The trigger buttons. Oh, Square puts it up. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yep. It's the trigger buttons. Get him. You've got a lot. Oh, no. Oh, there's a spell wielder. Yep. You might want to run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, need you need to run. You need to run. Run. Run like your life depends on it. Wrong way. You may oh, want to run no. the opposite He's not direction. even going to make it to the blades. Does he have any potion? Nope. Your health is low. You should drink a potion. Or Too use much. a healing spell. Too bad you can't use magic. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I kind of I kind of want to uh, give him mercy and give him a three life penalty. A three lives. Right, run. Run. You run faster if you put the blade up. Where is he? If you get square, it puts the blade where is he? I don't recognize this place. It's a mod. Uh, Why are you put me in the mod area? I didn't mean to. So, God. <laughs> <laughs> the skeleton just came along. <laughs> no, I said you should go into the safe zone. If I um, say freaking dragon, I'm done. Wait, no, no, you shouldn't <laughs> see a dragon. Oh, yeah. no. Wait, he's on fire. Oh, no. Fire skeleton. Wait, he's, he's almost dead. dead. He's almost dead. I don't mean right. crap right now. Did he die? No. no. Hit him. 
Yeah, take care of your time. Loot his body, loot his body, loot his body. I know we said we can't. No, save. he can pick up the first thing he gets. Oh, and a shield. Is he allowed to use shields? Does not no, save. it's heavy armor. Oh, uh, yeah, it is heavy oh, armor. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. Now go back into that menu. He can't sell it. That is true. That is true. He can I take it and sell it. I would say run now. Yeah. Okay, where is the power to keep yeah, see, see on your little uh, screen up at the top. There you go. Yeah. Not Those skills. Items. Items. There you Weapons. go. There we go. What about uh, the first actually, armor he finds? Yeah, all the the first set of armor he finds, he can equip. The Nord Hero Greatsword will probably be a better yeah, idea. It deals more it damage. More damage. For now, yeah. yeah. So. All right. So next thing. Um, run. The other way. The other Son one. Of a gun. Run okay. that way. <laughs> yep, yeah, put the sword up. Which way? Which one is the main quest ever? Oh, guess he's got two. No, he's got three. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nope, uh, two. Mark, no, he's. Don't, 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 go that, don't go that way. Uh, go so towards the mill. Go towards the mill. See where the water. No, turn back. Uh, keep Turn your camera back to the left. Uh, you got something else. All right, see that tree? Is that see that water mill there on the map, or on the little indicator at the top, where your arrows at? Run that way. To the water mill. Yeah. Because I think your best bet's going up that way. This is going great. No, it's not. <laughs> this is the best idea Welcome to Skyrim. We're gonna come back next show. And he's like, he's gonna have owned the game. So how long are we keeping this till he finds a safe zone? Oh no. Oh, it's just a nature reserve. Uh huh. Sure, nature reserve. Oh. Uh, oh no, you're about to die. Hi. Spriggan. Oh God! <laughs> something good. Something good. Help me out here. Where can I make it? Uh, yeah, yeah up that cliff. Yep. Um. Uh, try, triangle gets you to jump. Okay. You can glitch, glitch, jump, glitch, jump up the rock. Jump that far. Something good. Jump on that rock. Yeah. yeah see, jump see on the rock there. It's kind of a You know, you can go back to first person too, by the way. Unless you prefer third person. Hit jump again. I'm trying. There you go. You just repeatedly hit jump until you turn to part Now, where are you? Um, I think he needs to turn right. Trying to find out where's the mud Yeah, it was the look to your Oh, there's a mud grab over there. A mud grab? Oh, those are. No. He won't die from a mud grab. Are you sure? You <laughs> say that now! <laughs> I died from a minor fall. I'm true, but it's a mud grab! Just Come on, it's a mud crab. See, he's fine. <laughs> See, the thing about Genie was he forgot what gravity was. Shut up. <laughs> gravity doesn't apply to me. <laughs> he, Smack! he forgot he wasn't a being of unlimited power. Not, not that way. Not that. That way of certain death. Yes. yes. This way is probably death. <laughs> to, the right, I think to be fair, you can go in any direction and it might be probably. Oh, hey, three nerds. Nerds. Three nerds. Huh? Right next to a campsite. Oh. I would take those. Oh, boy. Oh, a journal. That could be a hunter's camp. It could also be a bandit camp. Take that. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, good a human heart. Why would he have a human heart? <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't know. Maybe you just found it. I don't know. Well, I'm, taking this I'm telling stuff. you, we're going to come back to the next show and he's going to have bought Skyrim. No, I'm not. No, oh, worse. Worse? You think he'll do worse? Judging by his reaction to all of that, his first dragon is not going to go well. I remember you. Thank you. 
I really appreciate it. <laughs> you know what? I'm giving you a vote of confidence, even though this is... Oh, no, mine's hard. a vote of confidence, too, because I'm confident it's going to be uh, hilariously failing. Forget that. You should totally take the game apart. I mean, it'd be good for alchemy. It is good for Yeah, because when the guards stop you, it's like, why do you have a human heart? I don't know, it just kind of looks cool. You know, yeah. why do you have a helmet? I'd be oh, very. Be going climbing mountains, I'll be. I was to say I would be very careful well, about how high you go and where mountains. you jump. You're forgetting that Genie died from a minor fall. Like I said, Genie didn't know what gravity was. Like that fall killed Genie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's a nest. Huh? There you go. That's not a predator. Nest. That's not a predator nest. Hey, that's look, a. Uh... Tougher than Genie. <laughs> no, no, he didn't even take any damage with that one. And he has less armor than Genie had. Oh, oh. Rock wobbler's egg. Oh, well, oh it no. looks like a wave that's going to come after you now. Really? I'm no. Not kidding. <laughs> not funny. But a saber cat might. Uh, well, I'm not going to lay eggs. Well, you can lay eggs. Yeah, but you can't lay eggs. Saber cats don't lay eggs. He didn't know that. I don't know where you're going, to be honest. Uh, Alright, actually... Alright, yeah, here, let me, let me get you set up to the right place to go. Pull up your map, hit, hit circle, got, like, and go down. There you go. Now, map location below. Now go down. Oh, or yeah, sorry, no, right up and yeah. Like See that blinking arrow right up there? Can we turn off the other quest somehow? Yeah, you can. Hit plate. See your marker. Yeah, yeah. It's over top of one of those. Yeah. Right, hit it. So, like, go back to white run. There you go. Yes. There you go. Follow and now if you follow that, arrow. yeah, you'll follow the blue arrow, blue arrow on your HUD. Which is Where's this blue arrow? Probably underneath one of the other existing uh, arrows. Alright, so hit start. Or options, I mean, and then go over to quests. One more time. One more time. One more altitude. Alright, and then turn off Nordic jewelry. Yeah. There you go. There, there it is. Yeah. Follow that, which is towards the the. Hey, we yeah. were right. You know where we're talking about, right? I'm telling you to look. Yes. Right there. See, I'm turning south where the blue arrow is. Yes. So That's I'm towards. That's where you need. Am I heading toward now? Yeah, you are. You're fine. Sure. I'm fine. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Wait, I can't please. guarantee that you're heading away from danger, but you're going towards the arrow, so. Uh, oh, back at this thing again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why you were going back the other way. Oh yeah, the bird nest. Yeah. I would just bite the bullet and run through, but don't jump. Don't jump. Well, there's water. It'll catch him. Is it easier for you in third person, or would it be easier in first? Uh, those don't look very friendly. Okay. No, just keep uh, going straight across there. You can make it. Jump. Okay. Nope. nope. <laughs> just keep going. Run. Yeah, just just keep going. Don't bother to stop. Nope. Uh, okay. Go, go over okay. there. You just can't go jump around, the ledge. Just go around. Just go around. Just run under. Go across. Run. Look to your left. Look more to your left. There we go. Oh, much much left. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Just keep following that path. Or follow the way. Find the road and follow the signs. That's all. Where's the road? <laughs> I don't know. If I'm going to do a freaking troll, I'm going to throw this at some point. <laughs> if you run into a troll, I would... If you run into a troll, I'll kiss your butt goodbye. Run. By the way, have you... Button. R, <laughs> R1? That was not the sprint button. Put the sword up there. Is it R1? L1. Oh. It's L1. L1. Oh, look to your left. Because I think there may be bandits that way. There hey, look, we go. Road. Then. road! Road! Go to your road! Um, who are you? Uh, you may kill that thing. What are maybe, you? Maybe, we don't know. Maybe friendly. Maybe friendly. He has an, an actor. No, yeah, keep going. I want to see his name. Valdris? No. What's Valdris doing all the way? Yeah, talk to him. Oh. Uh, a market on your mark. Let's try an adventure. Is there a... Just follow yeah, when you... the pathway to your left. Are we? Yes, I think that's where the blue yeah. Is. yeah. All right. 
All right. Now, when you get to crossroads, check the signs, and you'll be able. It'll show you a be oh, the best way to go. Okay, that's a horse. Oh, I thought that was a bear. Huh? Oh, good lord, he's still a horse. Yeah, but no. there's someone ahead of you though. Don't do it. It's it's found something. What? It's found something. A hunter versus what? Well, they took it down already. Must have been like a mud crab or awesome. spider or something. Oh boy. At least we found road. There's some ease to this. Yeah, so now you don't have to worry about running into something major. Skeletons? <laughs> or. Skeletons? Really? You or put me in a, in a place with a bunch of skeletons. I didn't know! Uh, yes, you did! Those are wolves. You're, you're Wait, are those wolves? Kills. Yeah. Yep. Okay, get your sword out. They They're can... easy. They're easy. But don't. Yeah, just keep walking. Yeah, they'll... There we go. There they are. Alright, now smack them. Smack the puppy. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? Yep, turn towards him. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 You got it. Oh! Oh! There we go. Take them wolf pelt. Weather is always good. And also the random jewels they may have swallowed. Yeah, Dumbass. no kidding. Alright, uh, that other wolf. Yeah, you didn't get it from the- there you go. There you go. Alright, now you got something to warm you up besides rags. You've got stuff to right. make leather with. So now you can put them away and just keep on walking. Right. But you are also diseased. You have oh, rock hey, dear. It's just a deer. Fine. <laughs> Everyone was getting up. I'm like, oh, something happened. No. Uh, no. Stay, stay on the road. The worst thing you can find are bandits. Yeah. And wolves. Oh yeah. And wolves that uh, run across the road. Guys, we didn't teach them how to block. That Other button. No, yeah, that is. <laughs> we forgot. Yeah, there you, go. The, there you have is. a block button. Thank you. I'm going to be careful about the no. skeleton. <laughs> thank your friend, thank our watcher, who's been watching us and been correcting us. He said, he said you know, he, he it's bad. know he has a block button, right? And I'm like, nope. Uh, it's bad when a guy named Havoc is your guardian angel. Uh, we Just remember, we trained him wrong. On purpose. As a joke. <laughs> <laughs> we thought this would be fun. And it has were, were we right? Oh, yeah. Yes. No, no, you're not. We didn't say it'd be fun for all of us. Exactly. <laughs> we just said it'd be fun. I kind of look forward oh, to my I think, Oh, we're at right. the death of G. Remember the wakestone? <laughs> this is the place. Yes, the this is. Stones oh, there's a dead body. There's a dead body. Yeah, it's a wheel of the. Warrior of the wheel. Or no, it's a vampire. No, no, oh, wait, searches. first armor he finds, that's light armor. Yeah. You wear that. Take that amethyst, that lockpick, that vampire dust, and, and that armor. Yeah. You can wear it. It's your first armor that you found. You might as well take that. Now you got vampire armor. I think it would suit her. Better than rags. Yeah. I'm trying to give him, a, give him as yeah. much PD as I can, guys. I'm not trying oh, to... Barrel. Yeah. Okay. I know there. There we go. Vampire armor. And there we go. A whole lot better. Yeah. Now that stone to the wall. I would no, recommend no, uh, the, the, one, stone, yeah, the one on the, the warrior. Yeah, the warrior on your right. That's mage. There you go. There we go. We're going to beef you up. So now you gain uh, XP towards your skills faster. Your physical skills. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. I wouldn't jump. Oh, down. no, not that way. Not that way. <laughs> Go back to your safe road. Go back to your road. <laughs> Hug your road. Love your road. There's the more road There's more wolves good. up here. There's maybe wolves, but it's better than everything else. Yeah. Plus, you've got armor now, so that should be a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's not fighting things in rags. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why his health was going down so fast. Oh, it was. Okay, he's going to Riverwood. Thank goodness. We got a sanctuary coming. Yeah. You can actually make some leather there. True. Oh my gosh. This is great. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I'm loving this. Your stamina is low. And that's because you've been sprinting. Yeah. There you go. An actual town. And look, yeah, yeah, he could have spawned you there, but he didn't. <laughs> but then, oh, look, and you got a courier. All right. Oh, courier. Just stop. Let's see here. I just got here. It's the DLC. Yeah, oh, so yeah. you can just ignore it. I know the rules about chickens in RPGs. Yep, stay away from them. Over there is the Smith. Yeah, I mean, I'm really. You don't really need to do anything in this town. You should punch a chicken. Nothing bad would happen. Fool it. <laughs> I'm not touching any chickens. Like I easier. said, I know the rules of the RPG. <laughs> chickens, <laughs> do not mess with. At least you didn't die like one of the last times I died in my, or one of the times I died in my first game I ever played on this. I got some. Okay, read the sign. Yeah. yeah, so you can know which way you're going. White Run is not that path. The other one. Yeah. Yeah, I was out. Yeah. He's gonna kill the bunny. Run, little bunny, run! Nope, there it goes. Get you some more wolf pelts. Get that rabbit. Is that rabbit actually aggroing you? Nope. Yes, the rabbit. the rabbit is mad at you. Kill the rabbit with a great sword. The, the rabbit was angry at me? Could I save his life? I mean, something's accurate on you. Because there's a red dot on your map. Is there a wolf out there or something? I've never known of three wolves out there. Well, I just fought three wolves. You fought two. Oh, three wolves earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah, but like in that spot, there's usually only two. Oh. Are you ready to fight a giant? No. I want to fight a giant? Oh. Only if you want to. That's fine, you'll get yeah, called I a milk drinker. recommend it with a great sword. You'll get called a milk drinker, so. This is catch we're talking about, so. Uh, so those are soldiers here. Might be a fair assumption. Those are Imperials. Those a uh, prisoner. So long as you don't try to release the prisoner or attack them, they're not going to mess with you. Mm-hmm. You're in the clear now. Nothing in this area really can kill you except for the giant. But I mean, you have to be real lucky to die by that giant. Yeah, walk to your left. Yeah. And it'll uh, give you that form. That's a bad location. <clears throat> Alright, 
Hunting brew metery. Actually, I think that's the way you have to get out here to get to the stones. Oh, oh come on! He broke the game. Told you I knew that was going to happen. Well. Guess that's it for tonight. <laughs> I guess so. Um, Suggest actions, report problems, just actions. Uh, I just hit report problem. Accept and report. Well, that was fun. I guess, uh, like I told you, I'll break the game. Did not, not lie. <laughs> I did not lie. Right there. You didn't? That way lie. Well, take, broke the game. We had fun, quite a good run. Um, maybe pick back, pick up more some more, pick up more of Noobs McGee later on. Noobs McGee is um, gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, Noobs McGee is almost where they need to be. <laughs> exactly. Um, but the game didn't get saved. It, 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 uh, oh, you know they're saved in a few places. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh no, you're not getting out of this. <laughs> But that's been it for this episode anyway. We might as well call it here. Um, no sense in starting the game back up just to end it again. So, yeah, like I said, I'll die again. Yeah. Until next time, um, Shroud is out of the room. So he's going to miss the sign-off, probably. Oh, well. I'm Hawk. I'm Phoenix. I'm Kit. I'm Crim. He's the Shroud. And we'll see you next time. Um, and, of course, as always... Uh, words to live by don't, don't logic, logic.